Hi, welcome back uh, to uh, our top um, tutorial. And today, basically, we're done with it. So I just want to show you uh, how well it did. Here's all put together, and I want you to see the the, the bottom because it turned out absolutely beautiful. Once it's been cut, it's been already hemmed and uh, ready to go. And as you can tell, the bottom is a little bit longer, of course, than the the, the front. You know, the back of it. Excuse me, not the bottom. The back of the uh, of the top is uh, a little bit longer than the front. You know, as uh, it should be. That's what I did to it. But I would like to tell you about a little bit. Uh, here is the the, the the front. Okay. And here is the back. Thought, I really it turned out absolutely beautiful it's just gorgeous but I want to tell you I uh, I had only had lost before I actually put it in the washing machine two pearls when I looked at it that's what I had lost so apparently I didn't have enough glue but I put it on a uh, wrong side out on a delicate cycle um, cold water and washed it in the washing machine I didn't have any time to anything else to wash with it so I washed it by itself and like I said make sure you turn it wrong side out and then I, uh, I dried it on a again on a very delicate setting and uh, it did beautiful I had not pressed it whatsoever at all but it turned out I mean I didn't have to it's great and I had not lose a bead in other words all the pearls that went in came out on so I was very, very pleased. Like I say, I have never made a garment or put anything in a garment with glue. But this fabric fusion really does work very well. So I highly recommend it. And, um, and like I said, and, uh, everything was, uh, like I said, it did not, uh, glue did not come off, none of the lace came off. And not only that, but to show you the quality of lace, the may has look how gorgeous it look it did not change the um, the texture of it the look of it like i said i have not pressed this at all and it hang just as beautiful and i want to do it purposely that way so you could see it now you can tell a little bit more on the uh, see how these little danglings came out a little bit but that's okay because i want it to look like it was everything was hanging excuse me like everything was hanging so uh and loose so that makes that that works for me in other words but everything else it's in there uh and like i said none of the pearls nothing nothing came off so make sure you put plenty of well not overdo it but make sure you have plenty of glue especially with the uh, with the pearls okay make sure they are um dry for 24 hours and you do not wash it unless it's been 48 hours after you actually glue the garment, okay? But other than that, like I said, I, I am so pleased with it. It just, uh, I wanna do another one. So, uh, you know, uh, like I never done anything like this. Uh, I already sew it. I know when I sew it's gonna get be there and it's not gonna go anywhere. But like I said, I wanted to do it for those of you that maybe are not sewers, and, uh, and maybe for those they are, but don't have the time to piddle with it, or you want something really quick, and that kind of thing. So there it is, folks. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I'm in awe myself because uh, of how well this fabric fusion work. Uh, and, and like I said, it's soft. It's not, uh, it's not stiff whatsoever. The, you only have the stiffness of the lace. If the lace is soft, everything else probably softer too. But the lace is a little, it's, it's beautiful. I just, like I say, I, I'm really, really happy. So saying that, I'm gonna show you something else real quick while I have this video. I just made these flowers today. Uh, I sew it and, uh, oh my goodness. Now I forgot, but there's a lady, I think she's either, for, uh, she may be from Australia, and she made these flowers. Okay, hold on here. Okay, can you see that? It's supposed to be the new look of, of the flower. In other words, that's what they're doing now. 
And so I saw it this morning and I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna quickly do that. The only difference between mine and hers, of course, we use different kind of a lace. And she had 10 little pieces around and I have five. And I think it's because the lace is a little bit heavier. And then I put some danglings on it, some little French and a little bit of dangling. I think it turned out really pretty. And I have a few little pearls here and there. And uh, I think it turned out really sweet. So this is one of the flowers that I did this morning. And again, I did this one here with the same look. Oops, excuse me, I just wanna take that light a little bit off. With the same kind of a, um, whatever this thing, little bugles or whatever you call it, uh, that the other flower had. But I only had three of the little pieces uh, of the other flower. So I, I thought, well, okay, I just did three, and then I did three more with another little flower. I mean, excuse me, lace and it worked out just fine. Then I took off, uh, or actually I had that left over from my top, one of the little flowers of the uh, flowery dangles, and I glue it on the center. Then I put this beautiful, it's an earring. Uh, like I said, sometimes we get two for the price of one, so I usually go earrings. Anyway, this has got um, a real light pink stone with uh, white round stones around it, and inside between this big stone and the round stone, it's got tiny little pink uh, stones also. I thought it turned out really pretty. And uh, to give a little more volume to the, to the, to the uh, flower, uh, I put some of that netting uh, trim or lace that uh, May has, you know, that is split it. Now this one is from my stash and I got this one at Hobby Lobby, but she's got some just like it. Uh, anyway, and then of course I put some of the flower danglings. I had some extra ones. And then that's sweet. Now the third one, I actually made it up by mistake, but I made it up and I love it. And I wanna show you what it looks like. Let's see, Can you, well, let me get that light off. Okay, here we go. Isn't that a beautiful flower? It's a big flower, it's, you know, here's, here it is, okay? It's absolutely beautiful. So what I did, I used one of uh, May's lace around it and when you got through the way I did it, like I said, it was a mistake, <laughs> which is sometimes mistakes are the best things, okay? And it looked just like a, a, a snowflake. So then I had this double eyelash uh, yarn, so I put some in between it, and I liked it. It just looks like a little winter, uh, shabby chic kind of a flower. And then I had one in here from a dongle that she has with the, where the flower is uh, sticking out a little bit. And I cut around and used that in here. And then I have made this rose. I had it and just fit perfectly in the center. So this is what I did. I think that this, this turned out beautiful too. And uh, if you're all interested in seeing any of these uh, flowers, like I say, I will leave the link to the other two because again, mine don't, don't look the same because I didn't have the same thing as the lady did, but she did beautiful in her flowers and you need to watch it really. Uh, I will leave the link in the description below. And uh, if you want me to do a tutorial on this, please let me know, okay? Other than that, well, uh, you'll have a, a great, great day, and uh, be well, stay crafty, and class bless you. I'll see you next tutorial.